I'd like to share four simple warm-up exercises that you can do every time that you ride. These are really nice for just preparing key parts of the body for your ride. And these are ones that I've picked up over the years from different instructors and the ones that I've put into just a short, simple routine for myself. And I hope that they're helpful for you as well. I'm Callie. I'm here today in this video with Ruger. Ruger is one of our school horses and uh, he's going to help me in demonstrating these exercises for you today. These are exercises that I've picked up over the years from different instructors and really just the ones that I found most helpful for me. I think it's a really good idea to notice as you're working with instructors the exercises, the visualizations that work best for you. Take a few of them that, that you really like, that really help you get the feeling or address um, key areas that you're working on, and then use them each time that you get on. Use them as a way to start your ride. So I'm gonna go through my four now. The first one that I do is just taking a moment to breathe. A good way to feel that you're really breathing into um, the lower part of your lungs using your diaphragm to breathe is just put one hand on your belly, one hand on your back, and think about inhaling, expanding between your two hands. This also helps to soften your back. If you're used to riding tight or tipping forward as you ride, this really is gonna help you flatten out your back. You can feel as you breathe, all of the tension that may have been around your hips is gonna to start to soften. And you can do this standing still, or you can also do these as you're walking around. So just a few breaths here. The next thing that you're gonna do is uh, just take your feet out of the stirrups. Let your legs hang nice and long. And then you're going to pick up your leg. And if you're able to, you're actually going to reach down with your hand and hold your leg right at the ankle. And what I'm doing here is I'm just holding my leg. I might lift it just a little bit out. So I'm opening and lifting my ankle just slightly away from Ruger's side here. And I'm just gonna spend a minute with my, my hand on my ankle. With all of these exercises, I'm not trying to go to the extreme, so I'm not here pulling on my leg and trying to give myself an extreme stretch. It's more just to start to bring awareness to different parts of the body. And as I bring my ankle out here and I lift it up, it helps to actually widen ac across my hip joint. So it widens where the femur comes into the pelvis at that hip joint. The next thing I'm going to do that's also going to help with that feeling and help with lengthening down the front of my leg is I'm going to think about taking my heel and reaching my heel slightly out and back. So again, this is a small movement. I'm more looking for just seeing how small I can do this movement and focusing on the feeling of lengthening my leg down as I do this. Again, I notice I'm not going to stretch to the extreme and pull my leg back as far as I can. It's more the awareness that we're looking for and just making this small little move. You can actually think about that same move later when you have your feet in the stirrups. If your instructor ever tells you to bring your leg back or to put your leg on your horse, you can think about just using this small move and this will help to feel more weight on your thigh, especially if you have the tendency to wanna take your heels really deep and kick your legs out in front of you. So those were the first three. We had breathing, we had picking the leg up and holding the ankle. We had reaching the heel back and down and feeling the length through the leg, especially through the thigh. Now we're gonna open up the front of the body. So I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put it here on top of my helmet and I'm going to slightly take my elbow back. So I'm just moving my elbow back a little bit and forward and back and forward. And as I do this, I'm noticing where I'm feeling it in the top part of my rib cage. This is a really good way to bring awareness to um, how far up in the body our rib cage actually goes. Most people think of the, uh, the top part of the rib cage being much lower than it actually is. And again, here I'm looking more of just bringing awareness and feeling, feeling little changes rather than trying to pull my elbow back and stretch to my maximum. So just a little bit of that on each side. Even there, noticed as I was thinking about my um, putting my hand up here, I started to get just a bit hollow in my back. So I soften my back and then come back to this movement. So these exercises are the ones that I often use to start my ride. 
Do you have a warm up exercise that you really enjoy doing to start off your ride? Tell us about it in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to learn more about how to be a safe, effective rider, and also how to better understand and connect with your horse, I'd love to have you join me in the free workshop from my Balanced Riding course. There's a link down below where you can get more information on how to join in on the free workshop. Thanks for watching.